So past, present, future, you exist. The body changes. Is it not clear? That's, that's clear. Okay. So therefore, the conclusion that when he not have this body, he will have another body. You are sitting here. If you don't sit here, you go. That does not mean you are sitting. Uh, opportunity is lost. You are sitting here. You sit somewhere. Similarly, the change of body is going on. Therefore, the conclusion is that after you give up this body, you will have another body. As you have already done. What is the difficulty to understand? The seeming difficulty is that one, um, while the body is different from that of a boy. The body must be different, therefore that is called change of body. Unless it is a different body, what is the change? The memory is there, of the boy. Mm. And or the the spirit is there. Mm. The memory sometimes we may not remember. Uh, just like your this child, he may not have memory when he was very small, but you have got memory. You know, when he was a small child, you are doing something or some to he was playing with some cats and dogs, but he does not remember that. But he remembers it. So, simply because he has forgotten, does that mean that the incidences were not present? So this argument is not very strong, because I cannot remember. You do not remember so many things. But the fact is this, that you are changing from this body to this body to this body. Therefore the conclusion should be, after this body I will accept another body. And that's the fact. As you have accepted in this life from one body to another body, there is a process how to accept it. Similarly, under the same process, you accept another body when this body is no longer useful. Uh, just like at night, you give up this body, you take your subtle body and you go to somewhere. You are sleeping at, in your room, but you are working in a different place. Don't you do that? Mm -hmm. So, because the, this body is still useful, therefore you come to work again this body, and in the morning you wake up with this body. So death means when this body is useless, you do not come to this body, you accept another body. This is called death. That subtle body takes you from this body to the umba of another mother by nature's direction that this soul shall get this kind of body. So the soul is entered in the umba of another mother's body. And then the body is prepared by the mother's blood and flesh. And when the body is sufficiently capable of working itself, then it comes down, comes again and begins its work.
This is birth and death. The soul is eternal. Therefore, a sober man should think, why should I change my body? Why this trouble I shall take? That is human sense. When if I am eternal, why not my eternal body? Eternal existence, why shall I die? This is human sense. Unless one comes to this understanding, is animal. Because animal, by nature's law, is going on. He does not know. Then a human form of body, when he understands that I'll have to change this body, I'll have to get another body, then the question is, what kind of body I shall get? Uh, that is human intelligence. By nature's way, we are getting body, but that is on the selection of the nature according to my work. If I work like animal, I get animal body. If I work as demigod, I get demigod body. If I act as trees, uh, then you get tree body. If you acted like dog, you get dog's body, nature's body. Uh, therefore you find so many varieties of body. This philosophy does not appeal 